Look, the spoilers are out for Black Clover Chapter 3 or 4, and most of you have already seen it, but most of you haven't. I also want to say I was busy at work today, so I haven't made it chance to come make a video yet. So here I am, and guys, I'm not on your side. I know, I know, everyone is hating Mimosa right now. Everybody, I don't, I don't see a single good Mimosa post. And I'm gonna go shave my beard after making this video. That's how much disgust I feel. But I enjoyed this chapter and I liked what Yuki Tabara did with Mimosa. So with that being said, let's just jump straight into this chapter. Yo, jumping straight into it, by now all panels have been released that are going to be released. We should have the old fan translations out tomorrow very early, so expect a video out tomorrow for that because it's going to be super, super cool. Uh, the chapter ends in the most unbelievably beautiful way possible, so it's honestly extremely, extremely hype. But for now, we have quite a few panels out. The chapter starts seconds where last week's chapter ended. Meki Kula's curse is basically disappearing. We see the two dead... Yo, I'm seeing this now. The two dead at uh, Diamond Kingdom generals well technically i mean xenon killed them before so are they really dead they were basically just puppets the curse marks fully disappear on lulapichika which mean every curse just got broken <laughs> henry hello henry ooh, ooh, ooh. we see asta holding uh lulapichika we then see this very 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 cute panel of like a chibi asta and a chibi noel just running together and i'm like oh my fucking god are they gonna hug ah! and then noel just yeet, fucking yeets him <laughs> noel just fucking yeets him it's, it's a start okay look she's she she has to admit it to herself she did it now she just needs to learn not to yeet this motherfucker into existence every time they meet up. But it was such a cute panel. They're like chibi characters running at each other. Then Noel just looks away and Oz is like, huh, the fuck is going on here? And then Nozelle gets embarrassed. Honestly, this chapter ain't in English. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Lola Pachika magically gets clothes. Like, <laughs> where did those clothes come from? I, I don't fucking know. I don't know what's going on. You know more than me where she magically just got clothes from. We then see Gaja. Obviously, real spell comes to an end. Real Charlotte and Gaja fall. Gaja obviously expecting to be very, very dead. But... And then Lola Pachika cries, starts crying. Everything is in shock. Asta looks shocked. I think this is the first time Asta actually saw this happening. Noct comes out of the ground. I fucking love my boy Noct. 10 out of 10 chapter, any chapter that has Noct. Noel then puts Charlotte, Gaja, and uh, like Rill into like a water bubble. Maybe I think Noct told Noel to do this. I don't know because like we've never seen. Noel do something like that? Like, I'm trying to just trying to wonder, aren't you basically drowning them? Like, what is that Noel's water sphere gonna do? Well, maybe Noel's got like a hyperbolic time chamber. I don't I don't really know what that was about. We're gonna have to wait until the official translations. And out of fucking nowhere, Mimosa. I I'm assuming this is her ultimate magic. She looks look, I know I hate Mimosa, but she looks fucking hot as fuck. And then boom! She heals them. Knocked is like the fuck is going on? Knocked is shocked. Asta is shocked. We see a small Libe, Libe shocked. We see little Pichika. Thank Gaja. Gaja says, I love you. Oh my God. <laughs> and then we get their reactions. The Noel square man. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. So yeah, Gaja survives. Confesses to Lola Pichika. Lola Pichika is just freaking out. Noel's just freaking out. Nozel talks to Noct, and then we skip. It's, it's exactly what I predicted. Back to you know, you know versus Zidane. 
obviously this fight is still going on. Um, I, I expect us to be, I expect that last panel to actually say a short while ago. So now we're back in time before Megacoolo was defeated. Uh, obviously before, probably before Jack Magna defeated Dante. I'm assuming all of this is happening roughly. Uh, no, actually no. So Dante was defeated and then Asta traveled from there and went to Megacoolo. So I'm assuming Xenon and uh, Vonica are defeated at the same time. So it's around the time probably when uh, Noel defeated Vonica. Uh, Xenon says this game is getting boring. Yuno says Lang... Apparently Yuno says Langris, hold back. I'm going to finish this in three minutes. Black Clover, chapter 304 end. Honestly, there's a lot going on right now. So honestly, from my perspective, I enjoyed this chapter. This chapter, it's, it's good. It's basic Black Clover. It's it's good. It's something I never expected. Like, I did not expect Gashi to survive. And a because of that, a lot of people are gaslighting Black Clover right now and saying, well, Black Clover is terrible. Ha <laughs> ha, Yuki Tabata doesn't know how to write a character death. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's just like, look, I understand you're mad, you know? Like, I understand. Like, hell, I expected Gaja to be dead, but like, he's not. And I said it really good here. On God, you know me. I have hated Mimosa from the beginning. Every live stream, I find some way, shape, or form to attack Mimosa because I don't like the fact that she messes up with my Noel ship. But. I really enjoyed her this chapter, and it was really unexpected, and I'm glad Yuki Tabata does not forget about characters, she definitely has powers. Now what people are forgetting is, Yuki Tabata doesn't forget characters, what do I mean by this? It's well established in the verse that Mimosa definitely has the power to save Gaja's life. And if this was any other manga, I guarantee you Gaja would be dead, but it would be bullshit. Because when a character is clearly established in canon to be able to do some miraculous shit, and then when the when the plot needs them, oh, that character is just magically gone. Where the fuck's that character? Nowhere to be seen. But Yuki Tabata isn't like that. What he establishes as canon, he uses as canon. So, until Mimosa dies... God, please, please be in fucking soon. Like, it's just, it just is, it, it, it is what it is. Now, obviously, you're, you're okay to not like this. You're okay to have wanted Gaji to be dead. I know a lot of people want Gaji to have been dead. And, and that's okay. Like, it's okay to not like a chapter. Black Clover's a 10 out of 10. But every chapter doesn't need to be a 10 out of 10. I didn't enjoy the early parts of the of the first dungeon arc. I didn't enjoy the early parts of the capital attack. But it doesn't mean that later on it turned into an absolute 10 out of 10. And Black Clover just kept getting better and better. There have been moments in this manga where I've said... I don't know about that one, Chief. There have been moments where I've said this. And Tabata continuously has way less of those moments than any other fucking mangaka currently in Shonen Jump. Except Oda. Because Oda, for some reason, is an insane god. But people need to understand that Tabata is planning for the future. Gaja is going to be important for the future this power level that she Tabata just showcased with mimosa is going to be important for the future just like how vivi is important now in one piece how every character links up in one piece we just need to wait and see that moment but until then if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe what were your opinions on this chapter I hate Mimosa, and I enjoyed this chapter. It, doesn't, it wasn't perfect. I would have expected Gaja to die. I would have wanted Gaja to die. But I, I'm okay with him not dying and him confessing to Lola Bichka. Maybe, maybe this is what Noel needed to see. And I'm excited to see the fan translations and the official translations on Sunday. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Peace.